Good morning guys, MC Procrastinator here for another 2 minute video as part of the 2 minute series. If you don't know what the 2 minute series is, check the video link below and you'll find out all about it. The topic of today is scooters, the outliers. So it's really interesting because the motorcycle community in general is a great community. Um, you meet fantastic people, you get to share ideas, you get to share bikes, you get to share stories, etc, etc. Um, but where does that leave? Scooters. Now, interestingly enough, I tend to nod. So over in New Zealand and the UK, um, it's different in every country. I think in Sweden, I've seen that they stick their left leg out as, as a way of acknowledgement of another rider. Um, but certainly here, I mean, it's not either hand up to wave or you nod your head. I pretty much do that with, I'd probably say 80 to 90% of other users you see on the roads. I mean, sometimes it can be a bit much because, you know, if you see like one bike and 20 seconds later you see another bike and then another, it can be a little bit disruptive. And of course, you know, your main focus should always be on the road and the safety um, of yourself right, and others. So, but for the most part, I'll always acknowledge other riders. I usually uh, prompt that. It's usually me that initiates that. And um, yeah, but when it comes to scooters, it's quite an odd one. Most people don't acknowledge scooters, which is quite strange because what does it really matter if somebody's on a scooter or on a motorbike? The concept's the same, but, you know, I'll expand on this a little bit more. Um, so I do acknowledge scooters. Most of them don't acknowledge back. And I would probably say where well, that's kind of led to most people not acknowledging scooters in the first place. And I think that reason for that is because they're not part of the motorcycle community they are usually younger people that kind of come off a push bike they jump on a scooter they usually go to college or school and they relate it more of a bike than they do like a motorcycle right and you know there's actually lots of other people that use this as well and again they probably use a similar concept it's more of a push bike than it is a motor vehicle so then that begs the next question which is why on earth would you get on a motor vehicle and not wear some form of protection if one of the main rules is that you must wear a motorcycle helmet surely there would be a piece inside you that goes ah i've got to wear a motorcycle helmet why do i need to wear one of these Oh, it's because a scooter can go reasonably fast and of course there's traffic on the road I want to wear more protection unfortunately there's a huge lack of people that ride scooters that think about protection every so often which is act it actually looks quite funny I will see somebody on a scooter wearing full leathers and I think that's an awesome thing to do even though to be fair, it does look a little bit odd. So what's your thoughts on that, guys? Do you think scooters don't have a place in the motorcycle community? Do you think they're different? Do you think they're more safe than, say for example, a CBR 600? Or do you think, for the most part, they have all the same inherent risks that we do on the road? And importantly, would you give them an acknowledgement? Let me know your thoughts, guys, for now. MC Progress in a row.